Hey, let's do this. Tuesday talk, March 22nd, 2022. We are two weeks from the concert. It's on. This is a great day. There was dancing, there was singing. It was amazing. I'm really thrilled with how seventh and eighth grade, I'm just getting excited now. I think we're gonna have a great concert. I'm not worried about your music. Um, I'm a little, you know, just details of putting it together. Sixth grade, you're almost there. You're really close. It's just, like I said this morning, it's bringing the energy and it's also um, making sure you know your words, things like that. Um, and I'm really proud of everybody. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Very, very proud of everybody. Um, so let's get through this. There's a lot to talk about. This Friday during ELO, seventh and eighth grade will have full ELO chorus. Um, uh, if I have to I'll make an announcement, sixth grade, don't come down. It's for seventh and eighth grade during ELO on Friday, March 25th. That might be our only chance to work with Mr. Sensor. Might be our only chance to work with Mr. Sensor. Um, on Mondays, he has sixth grade band. And, um, you know, he's trying to get them ready for their own concert. So I hate to take time away from their concert preparation. So I am, um, you know, I'm just um, borrowing him on Friday so we can um, practice a little bit for seventh and eighth grade so we can hear what it's going to sound like. It's always different the first time we do this with the piano. And so um, we want to make sure we are prepared and we know what's going on. If we have to, we make uh, adjustments as we have to. All right, so next, I'm playing with my hair. Um, the shirts are in, that's exciting. I'm not gonna give them to you yet. I gotta sort them out and everything. Um, they look great. Tuesday, next Tuesday, uh, the 29th, March 29th, is the fifth grade band and chorus concert. And they're going to do an in-school concert and an evening concert. And because of that, um, I need to make sure that um, uh, we're not in their way. So if you are in seventh and eighth grade, all of our enrichment classes next Tuesday, we're still gonna meet, but we're gonna meet in C124, the music classroom. So chorus is gonna be in the music classroom next week for seventh and eighth grade. Sixth grade, we should be okay on Monday, the 28th, but for Tuesday, the day of their concert, we're gonna have ELO and cafeteria too. Moving on. Solos, uh, the solos are out. I didn't get the seventh and eighth graders at the time of this. Uh, oh, that's bright. At the time of this, I don't have, I don't have seventh and eighth grade um, uh, posted yet, but I will very soon. So by the time you see this, I might have it posted. Um, sixth grade has been posted since last night. I'm sorry, seventh and eighth grade, it took me a while. I had to hear a couple of voices this morning and um, I left my paper here last night. So I had to get that, but it's done. And I announced it to all the classes and you should know if you have a solo and what your solo is. And if you don't, um, please check that out on Classroom. It should be there shortly. I do have a paper. It's the paper you see on the screen right now. It says some after school concert prep. If you need one of these, please get one. I will also put this on Classroom. Um, if you want to do ukuleles or drums alive or play drum set or bass or whatever, um, that's all on here so you know we're practicing. You do not have to be there from 4.30 to 6. If you can't get there till 5 or 5.30, that's okay. Let me know what time you're gonna be there. I'll be there. We'll run through your solo. We'll practice with the microphone. You don't have to be there the entire 4.30 to 6. I made it later for people who are in um, track, but then I realized that softball practices later than track does. I thought you guys were all right after school. So uh, what we might have to do is um, see some of you right after school and some of you in the evening. If you can't practice at all, that's okay. Uh, that's why we're practicing, um, you know, during ELO. But um, that's some extra practice. I want the solos, soloists to feel nothing but confident. Uh, same thing if you want to play ukulele or anything, that's your chance to learn it. Drums Alive for the sixth grade. The Drums Alive is just for sixth grade. Ukulele is just for seventh and eighth grade. Um, there is a dance, seventh and eighth grade for Dancing Queen. And I'm just checking because I have like this fear of falling off the stage and I'm like this far from the edge. So if you are, um, if you are in seventh and eighth grade, I'm going to make a dance uh, video for Dancing Queen, and maybe I'll get some people to be in it with me so you can practice with that at home. If you were not in class today and you don't know the dance, or if you were in my earlier 
classes and you don't know the whole thing, you're going to want to check that out. So before we meet again as a full group, we know what we're doing. Guys and Dolls, they're doing Guys and Dolls at the high school next weekend. It's going to be March 31st, April 1st, and April 2nd. Please check that out. It's going to be fun. There's three of our eighth graders in it. Michael Stainbrook, Molly Sensor, and Nicole Weibel are in that production. So you should go support them. Plus, the high school always has some great productions. Um, sixth and seventh grade. I messed up your grades. It says that you have a, have a missing assignment or two that either you don't have because it was just for eighth grade and it ended up getting put in for everybody, or I put I, I put in the grades and I didn't hit save. So please don't worry about that. I'm going to fix that as soon as this video is over. So please make sure that you're not worried about grades. You all have good grades. You all have good grades. The only people that don't have a good grade right now are people that aren't getting a grade because they shouldn't be on my roster anymore. Do you know what I mean? You all are getting a good grade in chorus. You're working hard. We're getting ready for a concert. It's going to be a great concert. Don't worry about this class. Um, Grade-wise, you know, practice the songs, things like that. All right, finally, I'm going, like I said, the shirts are in. I'm going to talk to Mr. Sensor's kind of our contact with the people that made the shirts. I'd like to talk to them. I know several of you have talked about, they're right here. Sorry, we just walked in. Um, several of you have talked to us about, uh, me at least, about what about ordering hoodies like we used to do, things like that. Uh, I think it's totally possible. We'll talk to them. We'll get a price and we'll let you kind of pick what um, pick what design you would like for that. And uh, I was thinking either black or white hoodies. Um, I love a white hoodie, but I always stain it. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. So that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to you on hoodies. Hopefully we'll have something together in order form that we can put in our programs. Um, and uh, there's... There's a lot going on. I don't know if you can see all that. It's a lot. Um, I think I covered everything. If you don't have one of these papers and you need it, come see me. Concert is April 5th. Um, it's our Spring Pops concert. It's always a great concert. And this year's going to be no different. It's going to be a wonderful concert. I'm proud of you guys. I hope you are taking time for you. I hope you are taking time to sing. And I hope you have a fantastic week. Love you guys. Bye.